How do we get out of here? Seems like we can move, but maybe not. Oh, there we go. Just get the dog to push us out. I'm so pumped. I thought this guy actually got killed in the explosion. I didn't think we'd actually see him alive again. And of course, my question is, how the hell did the dog get in here? Oh shit, the doctor, the scientist is still in here too? Alright, looks like we're out of electricity in this area. It's kind of cool, the shadows that are cast when you're near something. You can kind of see the dog. The dog's shadows cast a little bit. Oh yes, electricity, I understand that dude. What is inside of this? Anything? Oh no, don't play with the dog. <laughs> Part of me feels like we'll be able to be able to use that tank to provide some form of electricity, but okay, the same thing is going to happen. I really wish he wouldn't just tell me about electricity because I kind of know. Oh, no shit, he had a... Because everybody has a spare the May 9th, 1916. Alright, I'm going to read off these little factoids before we do anything. Armored vehicles. Assault artillery was invented during the war and in an attempt to break through enemy lines. The first prototypes of armored vehicle appeared. Generals noted that vehicles fitted with wheels were ineffective in a trench environment. Engineers thus worked on prototypes to overcome the problem and caterpillar tracks proved to be the perfect solution to the problem. No Man's Land. No Man's Land was the zone located between the allied and enemy trenches. The distance varied between 50 and 1500 yards. The zone was watched closely by day and anyone venturing out would be shot. But by night it became a theater of espionage when barbed wire and traps were set to protect trenches. Most battle casualties resu resulted in this zone. It would be an awful experience to be in no man's land. Um, what the hell do we do now? I assume we're just trying to get our asses out of here. I'm hoping that this guy ends up living. It would just be unbelievably shitty to do all of this to realize that he just gets killed anyway. I think he'll survive, though. At least I sure as hell hope so. What is this? Knife? A sword? A bayonet or something? I want to see what that is. Broken German bayonet. No shit. Alright, well now that we have that, I don't know what use the dynamite is really going to provide for us. Can we throw it up somewhere? No, I don't think so. I mean, we could throw it, but... Oh, I see what we do. Well, this is going to be kind of tricky. What, what the hell just happened? That was stupid. I'm probably going to hit this stupid thing now, aren't I? Nope. It's not far enough, though. Maybe. I think I know what we end up having to do. Probably pick up the dynamite and have him... Yep, there we go. I'm not sure what that red thing right there is going to do, but... What is that, a fuse or something? Because now that the electricity is back on, I'm not sure what the point of that would do for us. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, quick question, guys. When did you end up finding my channel? Have you guys... Oh, I guess it's the spare part for the armored vehicle. So have you guys just started watching my channel through Valiant Hearts. Have you guys been a watcher for quite some time now? No shit, we're able to drive this thing? No way. Move out the way, bitches. Oop, I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to shoot something out of it. I know he had that crazy flamethrower thing. What's going on? Why the hell did we stop right there? Okay, apparently we have to blast something there. What is this contraption? Okay, not quite sure what that's doing for us. What did it give us? Okay, it gave us a piece of metal. Okay, what else does he need? Uh, it looks like... A square and a triangle combined together. What does this do? Oh, I see. Oh, this is cool. You can kind of design the shape up there. I think that's... No, that's not quite what he wants. Was it something like... Like that? No. 
Maybe. Actually, that's... I see what we have to do. It's like a turned triangle piece, right? Almost looks like it. I think we have to rotate this triangle back this way, right? Is that it? Yeah, that looks really close to what we need. I wonder if it shows the design on there while it's printing. No, it doesn't seem like it does. My guess is that when it comes out, it'll... Yep. Alright, hopefully that was the right piece that he needed. Okay, good, it was. Maybe it wasn't. Because it looks like it's the same... Oh, I see. There was a the top corner that I was missing. There we go. That's That's what he needed. So quick question, how many of you have actually gone out and seen The Avengers? I know that was a movie that came out, I guess it was probably close to a month ago now. Okay, he just went, what, basic square? It's actually a movie I haven't seen yet, but I want to go see it. I've heard a lot of good reviews out of it. Okay, this, is, this might actually be a little bit more trickier than... Looks like I have to match, match all of this up. Oh, there, almost. There we go. And now we just have to rotate this one around a little bit. What sucks is that it's extremely close, except for the tri. This triangle is gonna be a bitch and a half to work around. I'm hoping that that that'll do. I don't know if it'll work or not. It's extremely close to what he wants. But we'll find out. Is this what he wanted? Pretty sure that that's... Be good enough, please. Okay, good. Okay, where's the cannon? Oh, we have to lower the cannon, I guess. Where do we do that? Is that up top here? Yes, it is. Move that shit! How are we able to drop it down, though? Okay. I guess it's nice that we were able to move it, but I don't understand. How, how do we drop it? Do we just do that? No. Can we go up on it? No, we can't. Oh, I see. The dog must have to do something. Let's see what that'll do. Is that just... Is that what we needed to do? Okay, good. Now, it's definitely not securely fastened or anything like that, but... I guess it doesn't matter. <laughs> nope. Apparently, it don't matter. Oh, shit. This is what I'm talking about. I wish the game... Oh, wow. I still actually control the... Can I just run over the barbed wire? I wouldn't understand why I wouldn't need to. What? How aren't I killing them? Move out the way, bitches. Come on. Damn it, I gotta back it up a little bit. My assumption is we have to take out all of the cannons. I suppose I probably could have just ran it over, but... Oh, well. Oh, shit. Landmines. Look like there was guys coming from above that are going to try to take us out. I'm going to take them out, though. Keep it moving. What else they got? Damn, that one actually almost hit us. Shit. Can we just run over this? No, we can't. Son of a bitch. And it'll probably make us start all the way from the beginning. Okay, good. I don't think it did. Did it? Oh shit, it did. Uh, I probably won't cut this part out. Can I run over these things? Okay, good, I can. But that other part, I won't be able to run them over because they're in front of me. And they'll just blow up the bottom part. See you, bitch! Keep it moving. I wish there was like a power boost on this. It's asking for a lot. <laughs> a tank that was... Oh, shit. 
it was made when it was made. Oh shit, come on. There we go. This is gonna piss me off if I ended up getting killed again. Oh shit. No! Back it up, back it up. I don't want to get hit by that thing. Seriously? There we go. I was gonna frickin' say. That should take him out. There we go. Is that all of it, perhaps? Nope. You would imagine that you... What the hell? Do I shoot something up top there, perhaps? Okay, it looks like I have to aim it right in there. There we go. Took a few attempts, but we got it. Do we just roll ourselves into here? He's gonna kill us. Or not. <laughs> America. Most badass country in the world. America. Still hoping that this guy doesn't get end up getting killed. Can we run over the mound of dirt? Okay, I'm gonna say that we can't. So there we go. Keep it moving. So far this thing handles really well though. Of course though, if you guys don't have a controller, this game will probably be a nightmare. If you were to play it. I guess I don't need to blow up this shit, but it's a hell of a lot more fun to do that than it is to just run over top of it. No shit, this thing can actually roam through the water too. Blow them trees to bits. Shit. Wow. I'm surprised that actually hit the tree. It looked like it was going to fall over top of it. Lucky Freddy was given a hero's welcome by the French forces. Emile wrote to Anna to let her know that her father was free and out of harm's way. Freddy and Emile's reunion, however, would be short-lived. May 14th, 1916. Freddy was sent to the Somme, while Emile's regiment was quartered near a small village at the top of a hill. The village was called Beauquois. This is where the conflict had moved underground. Holed up in their trenches, the two camps dug tunnels and galleries. The underground war had begun.